I feel like something's missing. There we go, much better. Hey guys, Ghost Prepper here, and today we are looking at the Battlesteel 3A Emergency Ballistic Package. Guys, if you could please do me a favor and smash that like button, it helps me out a lot. Remember, I am not a lawyer, so please make sure to check your state and local laws before purchasing body armor. So if you're anything like me, you try to be as prepared as possible. Now what kept me out of body armor for a long time was the price. It's just really expensive. So is there a budget body armor setup? Well today, we're here to find out. This is the Battle Steel 3A Emergency Ballistic Package. So what this includes, this is the discrete plate carrier, as well as two level 3A polyethylene plates. Now this plate carrier comes in a variety of different colors. It comes in black, white, coyote tan, OD green, and gray. Now, let's get to the important question. What's the price of this plate carrier? This plate carrier and armor package is priced currently at Botac.com at $99.95, which is an absolute steal. Now, before we go on, I just want to mention I am not sponsored by Botac or Battle Steel, and I paid full price for this plate carrier and armor package. To have a full level 3A armor package and plate carrier set up for list, list price of under $100 is pretty incredible. So let's go ahead and look at some of the features. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this plate carrier. As you'll see here, I'm inserting the front body armor panel. All you have to do is undo the Velcro on the pouch and slide the body armor panel with the strike face facing out. And that's the same on the rear as well. Now you'll notice this plate carrier features a Velcro cummerbund, which makes it fully adjustable. They also do make a larger size as well. Now this Velcro is pretty easy to undo, which helps for rapid deployment. I believe this plate carrier fits a home defense setup or home defense situation for its best use. The plate carrier also features a sleek front and rear and has fully adjustable shoulder straps, which are held on by Velcro as well. Now there is a front and rear large ID panel, which I found fits a shotgun card. Now looking at the specific plates, these are made by Battle Steel. These are 3A polyethylene plates, which are rated up to 44 Magnum and have a shelf life of five years. Each plate weighs a pound and is about a quarter of an inch thick. Now it is important to mention that these plates are tested to NIJ standards but these plates are not NIJ certified. They do sell other NIJ certified plates on their website. Also to note, this plate carrier is light enough so you don't need to buy one of those tough hooks. It'll actually fit on a regular plastic hanger. Also, I wanted to mention, if you guys want to see a video of the actual plates being tested, Mr. Guns and Gear did an excellent video testing these 3A soft body armor panels that I have. I'm going to post a link down in the description. Down below, Along with that video, I'm also going to put a link to Botac's website if you want to go ahead and check out some of that stuff. Like I said before, not sponsored, not affiliated, but I have made a couple purchases there. I definitely like the website and I feel like they deserve a lot more attention than they get. So I'll go ahead and post a link down to their website if you want to go check it out. Again, totally up to you. I want to point out about this plate carrier is very comfortable. As you can see, I can lift my arms up, spin around. To jumping jacks, very comfortable because it's so lightweight and because it has the cutouts in the arms, even though it does have a cummerbund, it is pretty easy to move around in. So I know what you're thinking. This is a discrete plate carrier. How thin and discrete is it? Uh, well, we're about to find out. Did someone say body armor fashion show? Coming right up. Inner coat, it's pretty easy, pretty concealable. You don't really see any of the lines. But I knew that would be kind of easy. Most body armor and plate carriers will fit under a uh, winter coat. So let's see if we can do something a little more slim. So this is me in a bomber jacket. I like to wear this a lot, uh, especially in the fall or if I'm going out somewhere and I want to bring a full winter coat. So as you can see, still pretty good. I look a little like I put on a couple pounds. Uh, but other than that, there's no distinct lines like, oh, okay, that guy's wearing a plate carrier. So it fits pretty good. I would say still pretty discreet. 
for the most part, like I said, I just look a little chunkier. So this is me in a standard sort of red looking lumberjack flannel shirt. I've got the plate carrier under. Still looks pretty good. You can tell some of the lines in the back. So it's definitely sticking out a little bit in the back where you put the panel in. But other than that, I wouldn't say this is anything super overt. Like I said, it just looks like I've put on a couple pounds, but for the most part, lines look pretty good. Let's do well. Let's see if it'll fit in a t-shirt. So this is a nice blue Henley shirt I like to wear. I think this is pushing it a little bit. You can definitely tell some of the lines in the front and definitely the back too. You see again the sharp lines from uh, where you slide the plate in. So t-shirt weather might be pushing it a little bit, but for a looser flannel long sleeve shirt uh, or any sort of light jacket, it's going to fit under there just fine. So now that we highlighted some of the features, would I recommend this product? The answer to that is yes. I've been very happy with the shipping process. This came in about a week time. Had, they had much less lead times than some of the other armor companies and it doesn't break the bank. Now will I eventually get a different plate carrier or maybe some higher level uh, threat rated armor? Absolutely. But this is a nice starting point and definitely a nice product to get into uh, personal protection and body armor. Make sure to leave a comment. Let me know, do you guys wear body armor? What do you think about this body armor? Please leave a comment down below. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. I love responding to the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like button as well as subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I've got, I've got $4. I have $4 in my wallet. That's all I had. Ballin'.